We've talked a lot about how important footwork and the core is when we're hitting, but the arm swing itself is where we see a lot of inefficiencies. Even players at the highest levels of the game consistently work on improving their swing because small adjustments in elbow, shoulder, and hand positioning can make a huge difference when it comes to accuracy and efficiency. Attacking is the one skill that might need the most work outside of the gym because in a practice, you don't get the amount of repetitions needed to train if inefficiencies in the arm swing. Also, since these are micro movements, it is hard for coaches to dissect them while they are running a fast paced drill. To start, we need to throw. The ability to throw a football, for example, directly translates to attacking in volleyball. So make sure you are loose and elastic and your core, shoulders, and arms are firing in the correct order. Too often players are too stiff and can't create the speed and control to really unleash the power behind the ball. Also, work on throwing a baseball or a tennis ball. The more practice you can get creating torque in your body, the better off you are going to be in serving and attacking. Draw your elbow high and finish fully extended. You should feel lengthening in the side body of your throwing arm. Another thing you can do at home is find a wall and use it like a tennis player would. Toss the ball straight up and aim for a spot a couple feet off from the wall. Use your footwork, core, and full arm swing to keep the ball going. Move it around if it's easy, but if you can't do this for a minute straight, then this should be a daily routine for you. Working your hand around the ball is the natural progression once you have solid contact. You can work on thumb up and thumb down shots at home. I used to have a lighter ball around the house that I would just mess around with. Working on keeping the ball under control, but also moving it around with the most spin or creating spin and stopping the spin, all while keeping the ball up. So if you have different types of balls at home, mess around with them with your wrists and abbreviated arm swings to learn how to truly manipulate the ball. One of our favorite at-home drills for practicing elbow first and wrist snap is the beanbag drill. To start, we toss the beanbag with our dominant hitting hand. While it is in the air, we move our arms and body from the swoosh position, focusing on initiating your elbow first and wrist snapping high to catch the beanbag at full extension. After every catch, take a look at your body position. Are you reaching high and did you wrist snap? Your arm should be fully extended and the beanbag should be touching your hand and arm at the same time. To make this easier, you can toss with your opposite hand for a faster swoosh. To make it more difficult, you can have someone toss the bag from various positions and heights to work on the timing, speed, and quickness of your elbow and wrist snap. 